we heard from the CEO of Rio Tinto today in a video statement about the crash that killed four employees on board a small aircraft heading to a company diamond mine. Two crew members also died when the plane went up in flames. CDFE's Judy Trin is in Yellowknife for us again. And Judy, what's happening with the bodies of the victims? Sandy, at this point, family members of the victims are waiting for the coroner's office to release the bodies of their loved ones. But autopsies have yet to be completed. In the meantime, we are seeing for the first time troubling images of the crash zone. These photos provided by the Transportation Safety Board show the British airspace jet stream plane in pieces. The TSB says the plane crashed shortly after takeoff from the Fort Smith Airport and caught on fire upon impact. Among the six victims are two members of Northwestern Air, which was operating the charter flight. The other victims were employees of Diavik Diamond Mine. One person survived, but four employees died. Diavik is located in a frozen lake on the outer edge of the Arctic Circle. It's owned by international company Rio Tinto. For the past two days, CEO Jakob Stausom has been in Lactragra offering support to the mine's 1,200 employees. He says there was an emotional town hall yesterday. I have never experienced such emotions in a room, fortunately. Um, it's very difficult, so it's critical to make sure that we can assure that there is, um, that there is uh, uh, safety in everything we do in the mine and in the transport to and from the mine. Four TSB investigators are on the ground in Fort Smith interviewing witnesses and collecting evidence. Analysts say information gathered from the plane's black box will provide answers to pressing questions. So obviously they lost performance. So there, that could come down to two things, whether it could be an engine failure or in icing conditions. Rio Tinto CEO Jakob Stausum says he hopes to meet with the family members of the four victims and of the survivor over the next few days. Sandy. Judy, thank you for this.